gliders are amazing. We've got lots of different species of gliders here in Australia and gliding has evolved multiple times in our native possum species, so our gliding marsupials. Not a lot of people know about them. You often know about our sugar gliders or our koalas, but most people don't know about the greater glider and the yellow belly glider. Um, they sit really high up in the, in the canopy and can glide really far distances and they're just really cute, really long tails and it's just there's nothing you can really compare it to. This area burnt really intensely last summer and it's an area where we know that greater gliders and yellow belly gliders were living before the fire. In late December, a really large fire front came through and a lot of people uh, lost their houses and people lost their lives and it was basically uncontained through, through much of this area. It was just so vast and went rampant across much of Victoria. We need to see how a species is responding to this fire and then see how badly the species may be doing and whether we need to step in and intervene and help them in some way. We're out in the fire scar near Malacuta and we're actually out here looking for greater gliders and yellow belly gliders. We're hoping to find them and see if any of them have survived this fire. The recovery post fire can be, can be a little misleading. People that you often hear drive through this area a few months afterwards are saying, you know, everything's you know, starting to re-sprout and things are green and coming back to life. But when you look a little deeper, it might not actually be the case. Did you get anything? Nothing. We didn't get yellow belly gliders while we were spotlighting at this site. So we're going to play some recordings of yellow belly glider calls and if they hear they should respond and yell back at us. It's actually really quiet out here at the moment. Often you're, you're out here and you can hear a lot of frogs and you can hear you know, owl species calling and, and stuff like that. And just, yeah, it's really quiet. Yeah, we'll see if that continues. No dice. Nothing responded, so there's probably not any yellow belly gliders at this site. It's a little bit disappointing, but we know that they're still within this area and it's within the range that they'd be able to recolonise this site once it's suitable again, so it's not too bad. Next site, let's do it. The data from our surveys will feed into broader planning for these species at the state and federal levels and will feed into different management plans and different recovery efforts that groups will engage in over the coming years for this species. It's just going to take a long time for those animals to, to recolonise. If there are some, some unburnt little patches here and there, that, that gives us a chance. But from what we've seen you know, in the past few months surveying through here, there just seems to be such such few of those little remnant patches left, so I, I suspect recovery could be you know, quite a few years into the decades.